Why does the shower curtain stick to the skin? Taking a shower instead of bath could be great for the planet. Yeah. But if your shower has a curtain, it can be annoying. Because who never thought with a shower curtain to remove it from the skin? And of course, the curtain always wins. In terms of physics, there are two effects. First of all, as soon as you turn on the water, the curtain inflates itself inward the shower, and when it's close to you, it sticks to the skin. The reason why the curtain inflates itself inward the shower was discussed by generations of physicists. And it's hard to find a definitive conclusion because of the complexity of this phenomenon. But everyone agrees to say that it's a matter of pressure. The air pressure inside the shower decreases, and as air tends to shift toward low pressure zones, the outside air moves inward, taking the curtain on the way. But why does the pressure decrease in the shower? In fact, there are several effects, and the predominant one depends on many parameters, like the inside space of the shower, the distance between the water stream and the curtain, or the force and the temperature of the water jet. First, let us see the temperature effect. Generally, we take warm showers, and the temperature inside the shower is higher than the temperature outside, and it has several consequences. Hot air has a bigger volume than cold air. That is how we inflate hot air balloons, which should lead to push the curtain outward. But that's the opposite of the observed effect. Besides, hot air is lighter than cold air, still according to the hot air balloon principle. So, the air in the shower tends to rise, replaced at the bottom by cold air coming from the outside, raising the curtain on the way. The temperature may help to explain the observed effect. The shower curtain is raising at the bottom, but the temperature does not explain it all, because the same phenomenon happens when people take cold shower. There is another important effect due to the force of the water jet. By moving, the water draws the air, creating a downdraft of air. However, there was a physical property discovered almost 300 years ago by the Swiss mathematician and physicist Daniel Bernoulli. According to Bernoulli's principle, increasing the air velocity results in a decrease of its pressure. The more the air jet is rapid, the more the pressure in the shower will be low, and the shower curtain will be pushed inward by the outside air. But there was more. In 2001, an American physicist David Schmidt tackled this problem using powerful computers to make a simulation of the Showa cubicle air movements. The result is amazing. He discovered that a vortex of air was formed with a strong depression at the center, just like a cyclone or low atmospheric pressure. And the result is the same. The outside air with higher pressure pushed the curtain in wall. In 2001, David Schmidt received, for his outstanding achievements, the Ig Nobel Prize for Physics. The Ig Nobel Prize rewards every year outstanding research results, whose motto is make people laugh and make them think. And this is all well and good, but David Schmidt forgot something in the simulations. Someone is in the shower. Because all the effects we just described are strongly disturbed by an individual trying to push away the curtain, which is coming closer than it should, and sticks to the skin because of the surface tension of water. But that's another story.